We at Mercedes take a comprehensive approach to the subject of vehicle safety, namely as an interaction between accident prevention and occupant protection measures. The ESF 2009 experimental safety vehicle demonstrates the various ideas we have in this respect. The inflatable structural elements are one example. These are relatively flat when not inflated, so as to allow as much scope as possible for the designers. In inflated condition their cross-section is enlarged, thereby increasing their resistance. This reduces the risk of intrusions in the event of an accident. We have integrated numerous completely new occupant protection features in the interior. These include airbags with a variable volume, that is, airbags that adapt themselves according to the size of the occupant, or inflatable seatbelt elements that inflate like a small airbag immediately after an accident. We've also improved child protection with our new child safety seat, which has many occupant protection features. The headlamps are another important aspect. In this case we have developed diode headlamps which have another additional function. In the event of a situation conducive to an accident, these diodes are able to target and illuminate potential collision objects very precisely, so as to make the driver aware of them. Another system incorporated into the ESF 2009 is what we call the virtual protection zone, which is indicated by the black stripes on the bonnet. Shortly before an accident, the electronic systems are able to decelerate the vehicle, for example by full emergency braking, thereby reducing the impact energy and acting as a protective zone, so to speak. A further totally new system we're presenting with this vehicle is the braking bag, an airbag system that presses the car's underbody paneling onto the road surface and can therefore increase the braking effect when needed. This is undoubtedly a system that looks well into the future, but that is, after all, what we want to show with the ESF. The purpose of the ESF 2009 is to consolidate the many vehicle safety ideas that we have and to further the development of these systems.